right where you are. Don't move. Stay there now. Steady. Now, sit up! Sit up! Sit up, you! Up, you fool! Up! Sit up, I said. Sit up! understand why you have this terrible fear of animals in you. What is it? When I was a little baby, I was scared by my piggy bank. Oh, that's nonsense. You, you want to hear something worse? What? I was 15 years old before I ate my first animal cracker. <laughs> Come on, the store's about to open up. Fix up your collars. We'll get to work. Go on, go on. And how? Yes, sir. That's the truth. How do you do? May I help you? Do you happen to have a copy of Doc Safari by Cuddleford? I'll find out. Hey, Bob. How do you do, gentlemen? We like to speak to salesman, pal. Well, uh, I'm the salesman, Stanley Livington. I'm the clerk in charge of all Jungle Books. And at 11 o'clock, giving a lecture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a book by the name of Doc uh, Safari by Cuddleford. Doc Safari by Cuddleford? We did have it. Well, we got rid of it some time ago. I want to tell you, gentlemen, I read that book. I had nightmares for nine months. How well do you remember that book? Why? You remember a map in it? A map in that book? Of course I remember it. Could you draw it? Could I draw it? For a thousand dollars? Draw that map in that book for a thousand dollars? Mm-hmm. <laughs> for a thousand dollars, I could draw that map in oil. Okay, then meet us in the alley tonight at 7.30. And we'll take you to somebody who'll give you a thousand dollars the minute you lay down the pencil. Is it a deal? Shake. <laughs> hey, pal. See you in the alley tonight at 7.30. And be there, chum. Get me? Thousand dollars to draw that map. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that book is out of print. In fact, we sold the last one some time ago. Dear, I was afraid of that. I've been to every bookstore in the city. There's a map in that book that I'd give $2,500 for. Uh, will you give me that again, please? I said there was a map in that book that I'd give $2,500 for. $2,500? Uh, excuse me, I'll be right back. What are you doing? Hey, Buzz, this you'll never believe. There were two guys in here and look, look, I understand. Look, Stanley, how well do you remember that book you read about uh, Doc Safari? That's what I'm trying to tell you. There was two guys in now here. Now, look, uh, you remember there was a map in it? You two. Uh, now, go away, go away, go away. What are you doing there? I'm drawing that map now. No, no, you don't. Wait a minute. Oh, you can't. Boss, don't tear that up. I got a chance to make it. Quiet. 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 Come on, follow me. Oh, oh, hey, look, look. Take it easy, take it easy. Come on, sir. Madam, you are the luckiest person in New York this morning. Allow me to introduce Stanley Livington one of the world's greatest wild game hunters. Oh, How exciting. Oh. Wild game hunters are my weakness. This is really a thrill, Mr. Livington. So nice meeting you, too, but I'm really not... Uh, it might interest you to know that uh, when Mr. Cuddleford wrote Doc Safari, Mr. Livington was right there. Oh! Wonderful. Then you must be very familiar with the map that is in that book. The map? Yes. Oh, sure. That's one map I could draw in a dark room even without a pencil. You see, your troubles were all over. Uh, I could make arrangements to bring him over to your home this evening. Oh, no. marvelous. No. I think it's a wonderful idea. No. My name is Emerson, Diana Emerson. How do you do, Miss Emerson? But no, I got a date in the alley. She'll have to wait. She'll have to wait. Oh. Here's my address. Uh, see you tonight, then. Goodbye. Goodbye. That's the kind of girl I dream about. But you should see the ones I get. <laughs> I tell you, boss, the guy said he knew the map backwards. So we make a date to meet him, bring him in, and have him draw it. 
Yeah, and the little muzzler never shows up after us offering him a grand. Well, you can relax. I found somebody myself this morning. You did, boss? Where? In Clopper's department store. That's where we found our guy. Wait a minute. Was he a silly-looking little fat guy? That's him. Why, that two-timer. You offer him a thousand and he holds out for a higher price. The minute he puts his foot through the door, I'll break every bone in his head. You'll do no such thing. When he leaves, you boys can meet him outside and get my money back. We get you, boss. Now go out the side entrance. I'm closing a deal with the man who's going to lead the safari. Won't you come in, Mr. Beatty? This is the place. Now, don't forget, she thinks you're a big game hunter. Buzz, why do you keep getting me in the middle? I wish you hadn't. Why, you ingrate. Here I'm giving you a chance to make me $2,500. Is that the way you want to repay me for all the things I could have done for you? Come on. Come on. I'm sorry. Oh, come on. Stanley, will you come on? I'm shutting off the water. Well, turn it off and come on. I stopped it. Good. Come on up here. May I see you a minute, please? Now, now what's the matter? <laughs> My finger's stuck. Well, leave it there and come on. Okay. What's the matter? Well, let me see this. Uh, not that one. Not that one. Not that one! Oh, that one. Harry, did you answer the door? No. Do I have to? Answer the door. Oh, all right. Do everything around here. Put this in the office. It's tight. I gotta be a cook and a butler. One of these days, I'll just... Well, that's all. I'll just do it. Yes? Uh, Mr. Johnson and Mr. Livington to see Miss Emerson. Well, come in. Oh, who is knocking? Well, come in. Miss Emerson is busy for the moment. Will you step in the living room, please? Pat. Uh. Thank you. on outside. Yeah, I can't get it off. Help me get it off. Uh, well, you get your hand. Well, yeah. not so hard. You get your hand out. I'll pull it off. Pull it. Get your hand out of the way now. Get your hand out of the way. I get, it. get your well, hand you out of the way. Get it off. Well, get your hand out of the way. I get it off. Naturally, I haven't publicized the expedition because I could easily become the victim of unscrupulous people. Yet that map's one of the few in existence. The owner would practically have you in the palm of his hand. This man coming tonight is the gullible type, but fairly intelligent. If he can remember the map accurately, we'll proceed at once. That'll be fine with me, Miss Emerson. And now regarding your fee. Suppose we say 5,000 in advance and 15,000 on completion. That's very liberal. On the contrary, money is no object, as long as I get what I'm after. Come on, will you? <laughs> ah, that is. Oh, not that hand, this one. Well, put this hand in your pocket. <laughs> get your hand out of it. Oh. oh, sometimes if, oh. Stanley, I just found out that map is worth more than $2,500, that woman. I can't get over it. All I did was go like this and the water came out. Are you listening? Come on. Come on! Well, you go in the living room and wait. I'm going to snoop around here and find out more about this deal. Go ahead. Who was at the door, Harry? Uh, Mr. Livington and Mr. Johnson. Good. Where are they? They're in the living room. I'll see them in a minute, and we'll have coffee in the library. Harry, I'm phoning Gunner to come over. Please leave the door open. Yes, ma'am. Excuse me. 
I didn't know there was anybody in the room. I'm awfully sorry. Say, hold it. Wait what you want. You know, you standing in front of this here picture reminds me of my last expedition in Africa. Is that so? Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. And it was my most dangerous expedition. We were after cats. Big cats. You know what cats are? Lines, I imagine. Oh, there's no imagine about it, my friend. Lines are lines. Here or any place, they're lines. You can't imagine they're lines. Oh, no, indeedy. I want to tell you something. My first afternoon out, I bagged 64 lines. Gad, what a hunt. Really? Oh, yes. And then I ran into an old friend of mine, Clyde Beatty. No. Yeah. And was he irked? He didn't bag a line for two weeks. Really? <laughs> I bagged them all. He couldn't hit one of them. <laughs> of course, when it comes to handling lines, he don't know from nothing. I am the boy right over here. <laughs> I want to tell you something else, too, between you and I. Clyde Beatty is a phony. On the side, a pretty nice fella, but between you and I, a phony. <laughs> Something else I want to tell you, friend. Who do you think tames the lines that he has inside the cages? Me, Stanley Livington, the world's greatest hunter. No kidding. Yes, sir. Well, one of the greatest. <laughs> By the way, what's your name? Uh, Clyde Beatty. Clyde Beatty. Clyde, it's nice knowing you. I want you to stick around because I'm going to tell you how I used to go in myself and tame those lines. Now, when it comes to taming the animals, Clyde. Clyde! Clyde! Oh, good evening. I, I see you've met Mr. Livington, our big uh, wild game hunter, eh? Yes, indeed. Swell. He just didn't tell me about some of his exploits. Oh, <laughs> swell, swell, that's fine. Uh, tell him about the time you and Clyde Beatty went tiger hunting in India. That's yes, the... I'd like I'm... to hear about it. Yeah, yes, indeed. Why, he, uh, Stanley tells me that he outshot Beatty five to one. Uh, by the way, I don't think you've introduced me to this gentleman. Uh, Clyde Beatty. Clyde, Be uh, Cl 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 Clyde Beatty. Uh, I'll be seeing you around. Uh. Mr. Beatty, I'm sorry for what I said about Mr. Beatty. Excuse me. Why, Mr. Johnson and Mr. Livington, please forgive me for keeping you waiting. You've met Mr. Beatty? It seems Mr. Livington and our old hunting pals. Won't you gentlemen have some coffee? And after coffee, we'll have Mr. Livington draw the map. Well, I'm terribly sorry. Mr. Livington will not be able to draw the map. But he's got to. The whole success of my trip depends on it. You mean you intend to take a trip to Africa? Very definitely. I'm planning a safari. I wonder if I may be excused. I know you folks would rather talk business in private. If you don't mind, I think it would be better. Mr. Beatty's hat, Harry. Excuse me, gentlemen. Good night, old friend. Quick, Grapple and Boots are outside waiting to slug Johnson and Livington. Tell them the plans are changed and to lay off. Yes, ma'am. Look, Buzz, let me draw the map. We'll get the $2,500 and get out of here. Uh, certainly not. Now, if I play your cards right, we'll get more than $2,500. Uh, listen, you, you heard her. She's organizing a safari. I wish I was there. Uh, where? On a Hoboken safari right, right now. Uh, 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 Stanley, you're, um, you're absolutely right. Uh, as you surmised, to be frank with you, I don't blame you for having the desire. Desire to what? Uh, of course, I'll, I'll have to explain everything explain to the lady. Explain it to me. Uh, uh, Mr. Livington insists on uh, journeying a safari to Africa. I insist? There you are. You heard oh, it from his oh, own lips. Oh, just a... Uh, hello. Just uh, a minute. How do you do? Uh, I mean, you see, with Mr. Livington in Africa, uh, he'd feel right at home, and it'd be very simple for him to draw the map without any difficulties. I think it's an excellent idea. Silly. Once we're there, he can lead us to the East Fork of the Tarabongo and Okavango River. Lead uh, you to the fork? Yes, yeah, uh, surely, of course, it'll be the regular $5,000 fee in advance and uh, $15,000 on completion. Of course, that includes my services. What? Uh, splendid. That's uh, fine. And for your safety, I'm going to assign you my best follow-upper. Uh, follow-upper? Follow Yes, he's the man who follows you in the jungle. And if you miss a shot at a charging animal, he shoots and saves your life. Oh, that's him now. Excuse me. Miss Shelley. Hey, listen, Buzz. Oh. I'm not going to hold it. you got no right to put me in a thing like that. Oh, what's kind of money? You're always putting me don't right in the middle of everything. Don't I don't care what kind of money. Don't you give me that. No, listen, you got to put me over there with no arguments. I'm not going to go over there with all those lines. I tell you. I'm going to start going the other way. I'm not going to argue. No, no, I'm not. I won't. Gunner, I'd like to have you meet Mr. Johnson and Mr. Livington. Gunner Jensen. Hi. Uh, I don't want to seem inquisitive, but uh, just what are we going to Africa for? Well, we're going after an orangutan gargantua. 
Orangutan Gargantia. Excuse me, please. Uh, pardon. Let me ask you. What's Orangutan Gargantia? Uh, it's a big ape. Oh, a big ape? Yeah, stop worrying. Big ape? Pardon me. Excuse me, excuse me. Pardon me. A big ape? Yeah. You mean like the thing I see in a circus, like the father to the monkey? Yeah, yeah it's only bigger. Bigger. Ping! And he's going to protect me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gunner, show them how you can shoot the Winchester. You missed the lion. I raised the gun to my shoulder, looked through the peep sight, and I... I looked through the peep sight, put my finger on the trigger, grabbed for the pump slide, and I... I... <laughs> no pump slide. Stanley. Stanley! Now where did he go? Stanley!
Hello. Hello. We'll catch them along fine, Miss Emerson, and in the morning we'll start for the interior. Very good. Well, we've looked the whole place over. You want to know something, boss? This don't look like a place to find diamonds. You fool! Don't you ever mention the word diamonds. We're supposed to be after an orangutan. And another thing, boss. I'm getting awfully sick of these two guys you're depending on. They're always fouling us up. Just be patient. It won't be long now before the map is in my hands. Stanley! Stanley! Drop everything! Huh? Drop everything! Come here, Stanley. Get out! Get out from under there. Hurry up. Come here. Come on, Stanley. Oh, boss! Oh. Just when I had the tent up! Never mind the tent. Come over here and draw that map. The map? The map. If I draw, will you let me go home? Why do you want to go home? I forgot something. What did you forget? I forgot to say this. Hey, draw the map. Come on. Boy, oh boy, can you picture me a tycoon? Oh, 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 building, yachts, railroad. I don't know. I might even buy an airline. According to how I feel. Boy, winters in Maine, summers in Florida. Oh, it's unbelievable. Get him. He could even get his laundry out. Have you got it ready yet? Come on. You got it? Hello, boy. Oh, this paper here is worth a million dollars. A million dollars? Well, I mean, I thought I did it. Give me something. I got to have something for it. Oh, sure, sure. I intended to. Here. Here's a nickel. Thank you. Hello, boy. Oh, a nickel. Hello, Diana. Harry, some tea for Mr. Johnson. And plenty of sugar. Wonderful day we're having. You're looking marvelous yourself. You're in fine spirits. I have all the reasons in the world to be. I finally persuaded Stanley to draw the map. Oh, well, may I see it? Uh, I also made some very interesting discoveries. Uh, aside from the orangutan, there are far more uh, important things to be found in that particular territory. Really? Yes, and due to the facts, I personally think I'm entitled to a new deal. Well, what kind of a deal did you have in mind? Well, I'd say 20% uh, of the safari's profits would be fair. Very liberal. In view of your generosity, may I see the map? Oh, yes, surely, surely, surely. Now, uh, this map will take you right to... Uh, Um, uh, there seems to be something lacking here. Uh, I'll see Stanley. There's some detail work. He's, uh, he's, he hasn't really uh, completed the map. I'll be right back. Here's your tea. I put plenty of sugar in it. Uh, drink it yourself. Oh, drink it yourself. Drink it yourself. Harry, I want to see Boots and Grappler immediately. Ooh. Right. Come here. Come here. Come here. Why, Alec, huh? Now, what's the matter with you? Thought you were putting something over on me. This is not the map that was in Cuddleford's book. Oh, yes, it is. This, this thing tells you how to get the Clopper's department store. Well, that's the map. I used to keep that map in Cuddleford's book. Listen, you nitwitted numbskull. These people want a map of the Bangy Territory. The Bangy Territory? Bangy Territory? Yes. I was wondering why they want to pay all that kind of money just to find the directions how I get the Clopper's department store. You, that I couldn't understand. Just a minute. Do you realize we're in the most dangerous spot we've ever been in our lives? Dangerous spot? Dangerous spot. Buzz. What? Is it worse than the time when Skinny Marink knocked the chip off my shoulder? Ah, uh, certainly. Worse than that? I should say it is. And the time I drew the line like that? Far more. Yeah, but that time he came over the line. It's worse than that? Never mind that. It's worse than that. Oh, are we in trouble? Wait a minute. Oh. We've got to do something. I have it. We've got to get out. Sure. Come on. Come on, hurry up. Come on. Get hold of that. Come on. Come on. What you doing, boys? Going somewhere, fellas? We were just going to take these little trunks inside the tent. Get moving. Hey, 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 hey. Go ahead. Knock the chip off my shoulder. Not that. Your head's liable to go with it. Oh. Go on. Get moving. Now I'm getting sick and tired of getting pushed around by you guys. Did you hear me? I'm getting sick and tired of it. Hey. Come on back. Come on back. Hey, come on back. Hey, come on back. Hey, hey. Step on that side of the line. Come on. Stanley. Stanley, no, don't bother no. me. Stanley, you're, gonna, you're not going to kill anyone. Don't hold me back. Don't do that. Somebody's got to get it. And when I get this mad, somebody's got to get it. Stanley. <laughs>
Fine friend you are. You bring me away out here in the heart of the jungle. Why? Because you told me that you could draw the map. You can draw it, can you? You knew you couldn't. Why'd you bring me away out here? Now what am I going to do? What am I going to do with the boats I was going to buy, and the buildings I was going to buy, the railroads I was going to buy? Put that down. That's a fine how do you do. Nice goings on from a pal, from a friend. I never, I never expected it from you. I'll have to go into bankruptcy, that's all. That's all that's left for me to do. And what will my friend say? To think that you, my bosom friend. Look, where are you going with the water? Oh, my tent's on fire. Well? What have you got to say for yourself? Uh hold it! Hold it! Stop! Go no further! What are you stopping here for? It's early yet. Well, this is where Cuddleford stopped. Now, uh, on the bottom of page 389, according to Cuddleford, he wrote that he had a very uneventful day. Therefore, he made camp on the bank of the Crocodile River. Now, over there is the Crocodile River. Uh-uh. Over here. <laughs> uh, you'll have to forgive him. You see, Stanley is actually living the book. That's not all. Huh? That night, Cuddleford, he posted a double guard because he was nearing the Bangi country, which was full of ferocious animals and cannibals. Stanley's right. This is pretty dangerous territory. I suggest we pitch camp on this side tonight. But that means we're losing the entire half day. Well, if you cross over, you're going to lose two days anyway. Why? Well, according to Cuddleford, when he crossed the river, he was brought down by jungle fever. And he was that way for 36 hours. Miss Emerson, I think we should look for a location to pitch camp. All right, Mr. B. Stanley, come in. You better use a little more tech when you talk to Miss Emerson. You know, she's liable to send us back to the States. Good, good. Good, good. You, what's the matter? Oh, my goodness. Are you worrying about that? That's just a little baby lion. Wait a minute, wait a minute, I'll get a hold of him. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Pause, don't. Ah, Pause. Don't. don't. Excited. Yeah. Yeah. You remember what happened in Clopper's department store? Don't do it. Now, don't get excited. Don't, don't this little cat was raised on milk. So was I, but I eat meat now. Yeah, Take him away. It. Go, go ahead, go touch back it. to his mother. Huh? Touch it. Now, go ahead, touch, touch it. it. There you are. <laughs> you see? You, there you are. Yeah. There you are. <laughs> go ahead, now, go ahead. There he is. Look how cute he runs. Hey. I got my finger back. What do you I, mean you got your finger? You touched I, him, didn't I, you? I touched a real lion. That's all there is to it. A, a real lion. I... Brave, too. I... Well, that's it. Just like that. That'll take that fear out of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to capture that little baby lion. I'm going to bring it back to Diana. Hey, wait a minute. That's a good idea. That'll put us in good with her. Yeah. Go ahead, kid. I'll see you at camp. da 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 Well, Buzz, I guess we lost that pussy cat. Well, Buzz. Oh, no. Hey, Buzz. Oh, Buzz. Hey, it's dark down there. I can't see a thing. How'd you fall a trap anyway, you clumsy boy? I'm gonna throw you some rope down there. Can't see a thing, so grab for it. Now, boy. You better go on a diet because you're getting awful fat and awful heavy. Give me the other end of the rope. Thank you. Now we'll leave it here for whoever belongs to.
We better go over and check on that trap. Stanley! Stanley! All right, boys. We've done a good job now. Take them back to the truck. Come on, boys. Back to the truck. Stanley! 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 Look out there, fellow. There's a trap right there in front of you. A trap? Thanks, Ranger. Hey, my name is Buzz Johnson. I'm looking for a little chubby guy by the name of Stanley Livington. Have you seen him? No, I haven't. My name is Frank Buck. Frank Buck? Well, I'm certainly glad to know you. I'm glad to see you. I'm looking for a great big guy called Orangutan Gargantua. Have you seen him? Oh, no. Well, I just built this trap for him. Come on, you better get away from this trap. I think we better. Say, Mr. Buck, is there really yeah. such an animal as an Orangutan Gargantua? Of course there is. There is. There's one right around this district now. Great big fellow, about 20 feet high. Face almost human. Matter of fact, I've got traps all around here set for them. Mm -hmm. Hey, Buzz! Uh, Mr. Buck, I, I wonder if you'd help me find my camp. Why, I'd be very glad to. Trap! Trap! Boy, oh, please! That's the first of the species ever captured by a human being. Hey, you two, take the balls off. Drop the net. Come on, Mr. Bull. Come on, get, it, get, get him up there. Get him up. Heist him up. Take the slack out of the room. Careful, boy. Is he ferocious? Well, we don't know. I don't know. It's Stanley. Stanley! Where have you been? I've searched this jungle all night long for you. Last night I want to take that shot. This is no time for clowning. Come on, now listen. What are you trying to do? Make a monkey out of yourself? That's yeah, it. all extra work you did for my men here. Listen, are you the guy that dug this hole? Yes, I am. The least you could have done was put a red lantern in. Come. I'm going to report you to the African oh, League for better road improvement. Yes, I certainly am. Take it easy. Take what are you easy. trying to build anyway? A trap? Yeah, it's a trap. You're doing it all wrong. What do you mean I'm doing it all wrong? This guy don't know from nothing about building a trap. Uh, I showed Frank Buck how to build oh, all yeah. his traps, every one of them. Yeah. He listens to me. Will I'm you? one of the biggest game hunters in the whole world. That's yeah. why I'm over here. Wait a minute. I, I, you, you got the whole thing. Well, it's, it's longer. Yeah, will I, you keep quiet? Will you it's longer over here. With, will you keep quiet after what I saw last night? I'm the boss. What I know what I'm talking about. It's what. It's, it's what. Who's this character? Frank Buck. Ha ha. Frank Buck. How do you do? Yeah. I'll see you later, Mr. Buck. Yeah, we'll get on over the truck and stand over there. Boy, set the trap again now. Get it all ready. Mr. Buck, the boys have finished resetting the traps. All right, go down the other way now and set the other one. Yes. I'm sorry I fell in your trap. Oh, that's all right. But last night I saw something like I never saw before in my life. Now, even in a nightmare, I never saw anything like this. I'm like, sorry, he had a head like that. All right, go ahead. I'm going to look a lot at him like that. I'm just, I'm... Eat. Eat your food. Come on. Some sugar. Thank 
Don't be so nervous. Don't play with it, eat it. What's the matter with you? Huh? He must be tired. Buzz. What's the matter? You see anything over there? Certainly not. Then I got jungle fever. I'd better get him back to our camp. I think you better, too. I just follow the trail exactly as I told you. Yeah. And you won't miss it. I look out for my traps. Oh, wait, I think you better take a gun along with you. Well, George, I think we can use one. Yeah. Thanks a lot. All right. So long, Mr. Buck. So long. So long, Bye, boys. Come on, come on. Take it easy. Take it easy. What a business for a guy to be in. Crocodiles and lions bring a lot of dough back in the States. You can have it. Okay, boys, you're finished. Let's go back to the compound. Well, Buzz, after this swim, I'll feel like a diamond in a rough. Yeah. Diamond? That's right. Stanley, I think Diane is trying to put something over on us. Doesn't it seem funny to you that as soon as Clyde Beatty goes out to bag lions, she lets us come down here to take a swim in the river? Oh, tush, tush. Now, never mind the tush tush. I can use it, I can use it. Just a minute. We may be in the uh, diamond territory. Maybe she knows where the diamonds are. Buzz. Maybe she has the diamonds. Buzz, you gotta take I... it easy. You need more sleep nights, kid. I now, forget about know. diamonds. I'm a little worried. Don't get worried. Hold it. I know. Come on. Let's go in and take a bath. A bathe or something, and swim nicely. All right, put it down, put it down. Come on, let's go. Well? The last one in is a whole maze. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Where are you going? I'm going to dive in. In there? Of course you're there. i got to dive in over there. I heard your head over there. Uh, did you read this sign? What? Do you know what that sign says? Who's walking on the grass? Uh, hey, wait a minute. You can't dive in there. There's nothing but crocodiles in there. Oh. Uh, did, did what? You... Crocodiles. Wait, don't get excited, don't get excited. You see over here, there's nothing but nets. A, a dive inside the net? Yeah, the crocodiles can't get in the nets. That's good. That's well. Go ahead, right in, enjoy yourself. Okay. Can you make it? Oh, come on, that's warm. It's cute. Sure. That up, boy. Whoa, boy. Where you going? What a belly flop. Hey, Buzz. Right. Watch my impersonations. Oh, you, you do impersonations? Yeah. Watch, my first one. A seal. A seal. Here I go. Yeah. 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 Pretty good, huh? The light. Hey, what's my animal? What's this? A whale. A whale. Mm. Uh, oh, that's a whale. Yeah, hey, what's this one? What's that? An alligator. Look, I want to go in there too, you know. Well, when I do the alligator? Well, let me go. Here I go. Yeah. Buzz. Buzz. How do you like that? The guy couldn't wait. He had to dive then. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> hey, Buzz. Buzz, stop tickling. <laughs> stop! Stop tickling, Buzz. <laughs> He's a playful little son of a gun. Buzz, will you come on? Buzz, come up, where we are. <laughs> Buzz, will you... Buzz. Buzz. Yeah. Turn around. Buzz, will you stop? I don't want to play anymore. Buzz, no more. Now, will you come up wherever you are? Oh, Buzz, I'm... I'm a... I'm a... I'm a... I'm a... I'm a... I'm a... I have to try those cats out before he sends them back to the state. It worries me. Doesn't worry me half as much as those two knotheads you brought along with us. Relax. Yeah. 
us. Please well, don't make me do this. You're going to do it. I don't want to. You're making a coward out of me. No, I'm not making a coward the out of you. The gossip that's going around this camp. Stanley's a coward. Stanley's a coward. Afraid of a little teeny weeny alligator like that. A big alligator. Oh, stop it. Are you afraid of that? I think so. Oh, stop. It's only a skin. Feel it, feel it. So be afraid of it. That's enough. Now look. I'm going to make a hero out of you, whether you like it or not. I'm going down that path. You know where the water bag is? Yeah. You meet me there. I'll be in this skin. Uh -huh. And make sure you bring Diana with you. Oh, you want me to get Diana and bring over by the path by the water bag? Dog on think Then you're going to have the line skin on and then... <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Just act like Clyde Beatty. Okay, Buzz. Atta boy. I'm going over to have a chit-chat with Diana. Yeah, no. I'm going to show her I'm a pretty brave kid, and I don't like this kind of talk going around. Why are you talking? Don't forget about the path by the water bag. I'll be there. Well, boys, in a little while we can say goodbye to Mr. Beatty and his lions and crocodiles and cages. Tag this one for shipment back to the States. He's a good one. And get the other three ready for the training cage. I'll be back later then to work them out. <laughs> Diane? Yes, Danny. I would like to have a chit-chat with you, if you don't mind. Of course. Excuse us, fellas. Now, uh, a few things I want to get straightened out. I, uh... Yeah? Let's tell you over here. Diana, there's some talk going around this camp, and I don't like it. I don't like it no how. And I'm getting plenty peeved about it, and I have a right to have a drink. People are going around saying that I'm afraid of lions. Well, that's not true. That's a lie. I'm one of the finest big game hunters in the world. No one surpasses Stanley Livington. Do you think the lions that Clyde Beatty catches are big ones? Ha, <laughs> ha, They're nothing but kittens. A little bit of kittens. I, I want to tell you something. I'm going on a big game hunt myself. I'm going to catch a lion just for you to show you how big I can catch him. Huh. You afraid of lions? No. Good. Take a look. <laughs> Stanley. Stanley, what's the matter with you? She scared me. Oh, never mind. Listen, I'm going into the cage. And you behave yourself. You can't understand why he gets so scared. Nice work, Buzz. Look. He's heading him toward the cage. Well, I'll be. Come on. Come on. Get in the cage now. I'll show you who's the boss. Come on. Come on. <laughs> uh. The key. I need it no more. Diana, watch. <laughs> I'm not afraid of lions. And the gun, that's only for Clyde B. <laughs> oh, oh, me oh my. <laughs> Don't get scared. I got him under control. Boy, that stupid little idiot showing off like that. Get up on the box. Do a good job. Come on, stop stalling. Get up there. Come on, get up there. Where that a boy? Hey, Buzz, this I gotta tell you. You walked in the cage like a real lion. You even hopped around like a real lion. You wanna know something else? You even smell like a real lion. And that's the part I don't understand. Stop breathing down my neck, too. I don't like that. How do you do? 
Oh, this is going to be horrible. Hey, you come off a close. Now cut it out of here and I'll push with a chair. I'm not afraid of nothing. What do you do? I'm a pretty brave kid. I don't care about kittens. I don't care how big the kittens are. How we doing? Hey, Buzz. Get those nails filed. They hurt. I've seen enough. Stanley! St Stanley! Stanley! Come out of there! <laughs> hey, Buzz, did we fool them? <laughs> I wish you could have got the look on their faces when they saw you in here. <laughs> Stanley, come out! <laughs> I can't. I locked the door over here. Well, throw the key out. I threw the key out long ago. Uh, where? Over there. <laughs> hey, look. Hey, hey, enough is enough. Now go away before you queer it. <laughs> what are you talking They don't know you're inside the lion's skin. <laughs> I'll, I'll look for the key. <laughs> oh, the big guy. What a look on his face. All right, you got nothing to worry about. this cat in here? And who locked this gate? All right, let the rest of them in.
Chambers in. I just lost the best friend I ever had. <laughs> oh, he was only here. There's a kid's never done a bit of harm to anyone. He was a nice boy. What a man he was. I never appreciated him until now. No, you didn't. You was mean to him all the time. No, of it's too late. It's all over. He's gone. <laughs> yes. The way I used to trap him and set him into things that was yes. all wrong, I wouldn't... I would send my worst enemy out to do the things I taught him to do. And <laughs> the way I used to cheat him. He used to slap <laughs> that poor kid all over the... All over the... Oh, I used to cheat him. That kid never did nothing to nobody. He was only here. I he was a nice read. Oh, a nice boy, that kid. Oh, I feel like jumping off a cliff. <laughs> That's what I should do. Poor Stanley. But no, 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 I haven't got the nerve. He's only here to tell me what to do, Stanley. What should I do, Stanley? Oh, I know what I'll do. It's that lion. That lion. The one that got him. I'll spend the rest of my days right here in this forest. I'll get that lion. No, you don't I'll get that lion if it's the last thing I do. No, you don't have to. I'll spend my life here in this forest. He's a boy. I'll tell him what to do. I, you don't, don't have don't, to get this. Come on, boss. Stanley. It's Matt. Stanley. Chuck. It's really you. Sure, boss. Wait a minute. Why, are you all there? Sure. Uh, the, the lion didn't hurt you? No. It's really you, Stanley? What do you think I am, a mirage or something? You know mirage? I know mirage. You're real. Sure. You double-cross. Say you double-cross. Oh! 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 What's the matter with you? Oh! Oh! What's the matter? Oh! How do you like that? I was sitting on a piece of broken milk bottle. Yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's a diamond. I'm going to throw it away. I don't no! Know. That's a real diamond. That's a real diamond? That's what I've been looking for. That there, that there, that there. No, don't touch. Don't get hoggish. It's mine. I found them. I, I found a diamond. Diamond? That's Can a you... piece of broken milk bottle. Don't tell me what it is. There's another piece over I... there. I've been looking at that one for Wait a long minute. time. Stanley. It's another diamond. A real diamond. Look at him. <laughs> Stanley, look at here. Come here. Follow me. There's another one. This is unbelievable. You come on. Come on, Stanley. Stanley, look. Another one. I'm rich. I'm wealthy, Stanley. Can you imagine? Look, Stanley. Come here. Look at here. Look, Stanley. Another one. I, I can buy buildings. I can buy polar ponies. I can buy yachts. I can buy everything that my heart desires. I... Stanley. Do my eyes deceive me? Look, Stanley. Stanley, another one. Stanley, look at that. Look at the size of that diamond. Well, don't stand there. Think of something I can buy for myself. Think of something. I put that away. Can you, Stanley? Look at here. Look at here, Stanley. Two of them. Holy, holy, Stanley. Hold them. Don't drop them, Stanley. What your eyes see, your heart must believe. Two of them, real. What are you doing with my diamonds? Trying to steal them? Yeah, that's not. Oh, that's that's my diamonds. diamonds. Look at the size of them, Stanley. Do you realize? I... It's another diamond. Another diamond. Look, we're on the right trail. Stanley, we're... Look, Stanley, come here. <laughs> Stanley, my back is broken. Pick that up. Hurry up, put it on here. You want to know something? What? There's another one. Well, pick it up. Put it on here. I'm watching come you. Come on. Another one? Another one. Come on, put it on here. Boy, oh boy. Another one! Imagine nothing but diamonds, diamonds,
Beatty out here to capture wild animals. You didn't fool me for a minute. Well, just why did I come to Africa, Mr. Johnson? Diamonds. And I know just where they are. And you can lead us to these diamonds? That I can, but first we'll talk business. You and I will cut this pie right down the center. Isn't that wrong? Now, no bickering. Take it or leave it. I don't seem to have any alternative. That you haven't. So, when you make up your mind, just give Buzz a buzz, huh? Yeah, big boy, hold on to that. Boss, about splitting that pie down the center. I'll handle this my own way. Get ready to break up camp while I give Mr. Beatty his walking papers. Hey, boy. Boy, come here. Yeah. Uh, gather up my belongings that are scattered around here. I might be moving to better quarters. Uh, by the way, Leave these things right here in case that uh, little fat boy, you know, little fat boy, eh? If he does show up, this is good enough for him. Go. Bullet, a little tumble. Bullet. They took you tell me by your son, huh? Chief wants to see head man. Yes, sir. And so I've decided there's no such thing as an orangutan gargantua. And now that we have enough animals to have made the expedition worthwhile, I'd suggest that you and your men prepare to leave for the coast. That's all right with me, Miss Emerson. I'll go and tell my men. All right, Mr. Beatty. Miss Emerson, Miss Emerson, there's some fellas out there who want to see you. They want to hold a conference. I think you'd better hurry. All right, Harry. Chief, what talk? We'll talk in the house. Shanti Kataroho, Kuua, Manuame. Chief. 
Chief say, many white men come to land the bankers for diamonds. Many white men die. Why does the chief want to see me? Chief want to be your friend. Chief want to make deal. Want to trade these. Diamonds. What does the chief want for the diamonds? Chief have sweet tooth for a little fat man. Him? Oh, no. Oh, not him. No. Little fat man. <laughs> strong, strong. Little fat man. Friend of tall, thin man. Oh, Stanley. Tell the chief he's made a deal. Um, Jack Albon. Mm. Um, Gawa. Mm. Chief say, mm. deal good. Excellent. She's gonna sell him on the hoof. Gunner. Gunner. Who is it? It's me, Buzz. Have you seen Stanley? Well, if you see him, tell him to hide until he sees me. If I see him, I'll tell him. Yeah. But so far, I haven't even seen Africa. How is it? Oh, Gunner. I'll tell him later. Diana, there's something I want to tell you. We're in very dangerous territory. Last night, Buzz and I were captured by the cannibals. Man-eating cannibals. And you know what they did? They tied us up to the stakes. And one guy looked at me and he went mm -hmm, like this. And I know that was for no good. And I want to tell you something else. I escaped. And then I untied Buzz and he escaped. And there they were, all these cannibals. And I was starting to fight them. And I hit one with a right. Hit another one with a right. I hit one with a fancy uppercut. I went like this. Boom! And I, and I hit another one with a right. And I, and then I, I kept having... One guy looked just like him. He had a head on like that too. And this guy that had a head on like this, I hit him such a belt. I went, whop! <laughs> right on the side of the head over here, I hit the guy. Oh, he's got the bump. There it is. Quick, after Stanley. diamonds. Oh, no, they can't take my diamonds from me. They've ruined all my dreams. What happened to my boats, my buildings? Give me, give me my diamonds. I know what I'll do. I'll bury them. I'll hide them. They'll never find them. I can always come back and get them, Stanley. Yeah, here's a good place right here. Now mark the tree. Load the trucks. And then I finish setting the traps, Mr. Buck. Say the carry a pretty rough cover. Well, I hope we bag some big ones here. More! The cage! Come on! Get me out of here! Someone get me out of here! 
All right, all right, all right. Come on, Rita, get her out of there. Have you seen a short, fat man and a tall, thin man running through the jungle? No, and I don't want to either. Now I'll never catch up with them. Where are you going? Wait a minute. Where are you going? I've got to find them. You're not going to run around this jungle alone. You stay right here with me. <laughs> I'm going back for the diamonds. You keep running. How can I keep running? You got a hold of me. Go ahead, keep going. Such a nuisance. Don't give me no trouble, Stanley. I shoot and shoot to kill. I know you do, Gunner. I won't give you any trouble. You, you won't even know I'm here. Don't press in so hard. Oh, oh, scared, eh? Look at your face. It's getting greener and greener, inch by inch. And you're getting spots on your kisser. Stanley, don't force me to pull this trigger. I got an itchy finger. <laughs> Ah, oh, here it is. My diamonds. Where are my diamonds? I put them here. My diamonds. Who's that? Is that you, Harry? It's me, Harry! He's scared stiff. He didn't budge an inch. He didn't? No. Did oh, you find did. Boots and Grappler? No, I didn't. I'll tell you what you do. Keep Stanley covered. I got him. Keep covered. Got him? We'll, we'll bring him back to camp. Okay. He's, he's, he's a pretty dangerous kid, this Stanley. You did a good job there, kid. Oh, not Let's a squawk out of him. Keep walking. Hands high, keep walking. Diamonds! Uh, got to be around here someplace. Yeah, that's the mark. Why should this happen to me? I, I planted him right here. Me, who's been so good to his friends. They've got to be here. They must be here. My diamonds are out. Keep walking. Keep walking. How did you ever get into this mess? I don't understand. Go on. Keep going. Hey, uh, keep going. I got my eye on you. What are you trying to do? Make a monkey out of me? I see you. <laughs> you harder than Lewis ever did. Oh, yeah? Yeah.
<laughs> oh, I can't understand it. I had an empire in the palm of my hand. <laughs> it just slipped through my fingers. I can't understand it. I can't understand it. I've been asking you about. I'll talk to my partner. If he's in. Thank you, sir. 